Hello, Carlos. Good evening, teacher. How was your day? I'm fine. Uh, maybe a little bit uh, hard because I was uh, repairing some smartphone and one computer. Okay. And from time to time, I lose uh, some the screw. Oh. Then, then I have to to go finding uh to the to the shopping mm -hmm. for more for more screw. Indeed, um, I, I work uh, in that field. I uh, repaired some computer, uh, smartphone, and in this time, I'm learning to to repair tablet. And and a smartwatch, even uh, I want to re to repair uh, cars. Cars. Of yeah. Okay. Uh, I consider uh, in this in this time there are many. Uh, Jobs or mm -hmm. repaired cars. Okay. Yeah, and some people is decided to uh, put. Uh, I don't know how. Uh, how do you say? Taller. Shop. Sure. Shop okay. Mm -hmm. um, some people is is considered to put uh, a, their their own shop. Okay. Interesting. And and that's all. Yeah, uh, I like repaired uh, some things. Okay. But mm -hmm. I consider I need to improve my my English because uh, I, all the the part the part in in computer science or or tablet or the smartphone or or um how do you say manual manuals excuse me manuals manuals mm -hmm. okay uh, manuals um of of every every part uh is in english okay. so i need <laughs> to improve that yes the the num you should focus carlos the number one in your fluency you have good ideas but you are very slow when you speak you take a long time so the idea is focus in fluency not in have a fancy vocabulary others but try practicing more number one your fluency okay so okay. uh, in, mm -hmm. uh, uh, go ahead. Uh, the, the technique is put a timer or record your voice and look for how many sentences 
in 30 seconds or in one minute and try to go faster and faster and faster, okay? Okay, I, I got it. Uh, in this dessert, um, from, uh, from time to time, uh, I, I do that, that practice mm -hmm. because uh, uh, I, 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 con I consider I have um, many, many words in my mind but uh, I need to, to practice uh, a little bit uh, because uh, otherwise I consider um, I am going to, to retain that vocabulary uh, that I know, that I know. Mm -hmm. of, um but uh, i consider uh, i i'm i mastering uh, uh my my nerve because um before when i was uh, learning english i felt uh, very nervous Okay. Very nervous. Yeah. No problem. No problem. Of whatever. Yes, continue practicing. Continue practicing. Focus on the confidence. But the number one is your fluency, Carlos. You have to be able to speak and communicate in a much faster way so that it's easier to understand you. Okay? Practice okay. it. Try it. Try the technique. It's going to help you. All right. Good. Let's go to the next person. Rosa, go ahead. Tell us about your job. Please, please, the question. Yes, your homework, your presentation. Tell us about your job. Um. My job is um mm, is um uh, uh is a uh, Customer service. Um, I like customer service because, um, because. Because when a a person a person a person had how do you say patience? Patience. Patience. Preparaste la tarea o no? Uh, yes. Okay. So, Rosa, yeah, solo dijiste seis palabras en un minuto. You have to go. The, ready? Empezá otra vez. Hacelo fluidamente. Enfócate. ¿Qué es lo que es tu trabajo? Me estás describiendo a mí como persona que no conozco tu trabajo. ¿Cuáles son todas las responsabilidades, actividades, eh, todo lo que tú día a día tienes que hacer para que yo pueda decidir si quiero o no el puesto? Go, Rosa. Rosa, what is your job? Um, 
your dough is uh, um, customer, customer service. Um, the activity is um, uh, Okay, Rosa, thank you so much. Uh, you need to practice speaking. Speak to yourself, speak to other people, uh, record the audios, start thinking in English. Rosa, your English is very slow. Is You don't have anything to say, but it, to help you, you need to be able to express yourself. So if you are you're almost going to the next level, right? Uh, imagine this level, if the next level is advanced. Rosa, uh, if you want to work or uh, work in English, you have to be able to speak quickly. So practice at home, practice recording, practice with other people. Okay, Rosa? Okay. Good, Rosa. You can do it, but you have to practice and practice and practice. Todo el día. Así en tu casa. ¿Qué es lo que, dice? ¿Qué estoy haciendo? ¿Cómo se dice en inglés? ¿Cómo lo puedo decir esto? Esto que alguien me está diciendo, ¿cómo lo dijera yo en inglés? This is the way to get faster and faster in English. Okay? All right. Luis Fernando, go. Good evening. Okay, according to my previous job, I was working in a company uh, that the rubro is uh, apparel. Apparel. So we we made in in full package uh, garments, garments uh, like a uh, shirt, jackets, pants. All the, all the apparel to wear to one person. Uh, my previous chairs was a uh, purchase strings. Purchase strings uh, is a, is the, the is, is in the chair or the function is buy accessories to make the garment that include the fabric uh, trims like uh, zippers, labels, burrums, thread. We need to buy all the components to previous to go to the line production, right? Uh, we uh, the 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 proced proced pro procedure is that we have a purchase order from the client and then we we need to buy that components uh, like uh, three months before to the uh, export they give give us that that customer give us and the and we need to export the garment on time uh, we we, need, we we buy the the component three months and the plant the floor the production have one month to confection the garments right we we have different suppliers suppliers international suppliers and national suppliers and then the 75% uh, of that suppliers are in Eastern countries and also USA countries. We need to, to get the different rules, uh, different rules uh, give that customer give us, but for that we, we, we need to complete the all the purchases and then uh, uh, in, in, in resume that that's all that we need to do in that chairs okay pretty good Luis a couple mistakes that mistakes are in the chat uh, the word is sector the apparel sector or clothing sector uh, pronunciation is procedure, 
and no USA countries, only USA. You say yes. country or USA, right? Yes, uh, thank you. Thank you, Luis. Luis, practice more because you have a lot of pauses, a lot of pauses when you speak. So try to do more practicing with no pauses, okay? Yes. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Sandra, Cecilia. I control of the soil. I burn some bread cylinders. I see the soil monster and I help care of this in the project that I visit. I see how hard the soil is. And uh, if the compress is fluid at the time of the of the place is and uh, something sometimes I make reports and only that. Okay. Sandra, are you an agronomist? Sorry. I are, you an, are you an agronomist or a farmer? No. No. What soil do you prepare? Uh, I I I study a civil engineer. I I work in a laboratory uh -huh. uh, about soil. Uh, I I see the I see the construction and I see yeah. Okay, I got it. I, I was wondering because you said soil, so okay. Thank you. Lillian. Uh, sorry, it's all, all the way to say uh, soil or uh, how to refer when it's a quality control. Yes, no, 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 it's okay. The problem is that uh, you speak about soil, but you don't say your profession. Uh, okay. Uh huh. Okay. So, uh huh. I don't know what is your profession. Uh, so, I, that's why I asked. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 Thank you. Lillian? Thank you. Lillian? Yes, I am here. Uh, if, if you want, uh, can I be the next? Because I'm driving yet. I need okay. five minutes. Okay. Claudia. Claudia, no. Okay. Jenny. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Jenny. Okay. In my work, I I help to, to people to facilitate their work through computer systems. I am a systems engineer. Uh, these systems are uh, allow the recording of financial transactions necess necessary for the operation of the state or yes the state through the general budget of the nation so the information must uh, to be reliable uh, only. Jenny, you work for the government? Yes. Okay, then it's correct, the state. Very good. Okay. All right, Jenny. I only, Thanks. you are a computer, right? Okay. Don't worry, Gladys, it's okay. You can listen, Gladys, no problem. Astrid. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. I'm a technical and administrative assistant in the dissemination and search unit of Salvadorian Red Cross. And these are some of the activities that I do in a day. <clears throat> One day before, I have to review and update the agenda, schedule meetings, and some activities. That day, 
begin with a meeting with the regional manager to discuss the details for the implement implementation of a restory family link. There is a, a, a tool that we are going to use in the, in the unit. And this meeting uh, lasts approximately one hour and a half. Then I must to coordinate the transportation for the training that will be given over the weekend to the volunteers who wish to enter to the institution. And in the same way, I must to prepare the material and the resource that we must to take. Um, during the day, I also receive around three um, presumed death requests that are required by the um, Procuraduría General de la República. Mm. Uh, and I'm in charge of uh, reviewing the database and writing the certificate so that it can then um, by seeing by, by my boss. And also, um, I am writing the first procedures manual, manual for my unit. So I must to organize my time and dedicate at least one hour uh, during the day to, to this that. And since March is ending, I must also write the the, the trimestral report with all the activities and in progress that we have been made. Pretty good. Very good, Astrid. You have to be careful with the models. Uh, you use a lot too, and there is no two. Okay. Do, Do you understand, Astrid? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. So no must to, uh, I had to, the only, the, the twos, no, you have to use only for have to or ought to. Okay, good. Okay, teacher. Good, Astrid. Jasmine. Teacher. Oh, uh, Lillian, you ready? Yes. Okay, I, Lillian. I, I, okay. Go ahead. My, my job is about driver and tourist guide. I, I, I have a unit car prepared. And before to begin to drive, I need to ensure that the condition of the car are correct. I need to review the fuel level, the gas, the wheels, and the air conditioner, and the clean of the unit. After that, I need to know where is the place I need to, to translate to the people. And I need to read about that place. I need to know about the history of that place and curiosity and database important that are related with the, the place that we will visit. I need uh, the person that uh, other of the responsibilities of that, uh, that the supuesto <laughs> of that um, area uh, is ensure that you are greeting and welcoming to the customer to the tour. Uh, you need know, to be informing about the itinerary and and the interest of the people. You need to know about the ages of that people and, and to know what kind of music or or the ambient you need to to give them to do a, a good experience in the trip. That's it. Thank you very much. In the chat, Lillian, you can see the mistakes. Um, whenever you use before or after is with okay. ing. Um, the pronunciation is wheels and puesto okay. position. Okay, okay. okay. Good. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Jasmine?
Good evening, teacher. Um, I work as a study creator. I work in the collection department. Normally, I work at uh, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. I call client, clients for the uh, recovery of loans and credit cards. Uh, my job is uh, repetitive. I use a script to be able to be communicate with my clients. Um, only that is repetitive. No problem. Good. Uh, the pronunciation, clients. Clients, Client. yeah. Good. All right. Alejandra? Okay, I guess Alejandra and Claudia have a little problem, but okay, we go ahead and continue. Great job. The important is to be able to describe about your job. Uh, I'm here. Oh, okay. All right, Ale. I can. Uh, okay, but actually, well, currently I'm not, I'm not working and had never have a job, so I don't know if I can describe what I'm studying now. Okay. So I'm studying business administration but with an emphasis on, uh, on computer systems. Uh, I go in the mornings to the university for physical classes on Monday, Tuesday, Thursdays, and Fridays. And on Monday and Wednesdays, I have online classes in the afternoons. And also having... Okay, I think Ale lost her signal. I'm oh, sorry, I, I don't know why, but my internet is like... It's okay, it's the problem sometimes. Mm -hmm. So can I continue? Yes, please. So that's basically in my career is like the business administration, like all we know, but making use of a computer system as a new way and a basic tool of managing a business. Okay, very nice, Ali. Good job. It's important very that you are very good with it. The idea is to be able to describe because you're going to have interviews, you're going to meet new people, and the first question, what do you do? And if you say, I'm business manager, uh -huh, this is the position, but what do you do? So it's important to practice and be clear with what you do. Today, we're going to be looking in unit four. We're going to continue. We're going to be looking at describing a process 4.3 describing a process of the action is not important with this in mind we will use the basic passive in order hello in this lesson we'll study passive to describe process get your notebook and get ready to take notes the passive to describe process is r plus past participle a scene isn't filmed just once. Only the best shots are used. Modal plus B plus past participle. One scene may be shot from five or six different angles. Lots of different shots have to be taken. Before we begin, let me review the reasons for using the passive. Number one, we don't know who does the action. Number two, the doer of the action is not important. With this in mind, we will use the basic passive. In other words, B plus past participle. Work with me on this first sentence. A scene isn't filmed just once. Only the best shots are used. Did you notice the use of B plus past participles? We may also use passive with models. This is the rule. Model plus B plus past participle. One scene may be shot from five to six different angles. Okay. Are you able to? Let's take a look at this part right here. And models, here they use may. What are other models? Shoot. 
sure can be sure mm -hmm. would would could can mm -hmm. can very good right. and that's the idea to describe your job what do you do describe the process so mm, what are you going to do in your job well um one and de depending on your position might may can uh, have to must depend the situations and then what you do the same here here we can use the verb to be and then the past participle okay so the computer isn't tested only once or the program isn't written or the soil isn't checked or is checked depending on the situations all of those are to describe the process this is important especially not just for your job but anything when you are giving instructions so what are we going to do we're going to take a look here in 4.4 and 4.5 with our partners we're going to take a look at 4.4 first and here we're going to use the information about movies and we're going to complete it as an example here to complete the script it has to divide into scenes so the correct answer is the verb to be and the verb in the past participle and that's how you're going to complete numbers one through 12. remember the verb to be and the past participle to describe the process it's okay okay okay, okay. so with your partners we're going to use the verb to be and the past participle Page 95, exercise nine, perspectives, quiz show, part A, listen to a quiz show. Can you guess the occupations? One, a uh, blank who finds appropriate places to shoot scenes, gets to travel all over the world. Two, a blank is someone who chooses an actor for each part in a movie. Three, a blank who makes sure that everything on a movie set looks realistic, creates the objects that the characters use. Four, a blank is someone who develops and expands a story idea into a full movie script. Five, a blank is a language specialist who works with actors on their accents. Six, a blank who is used when an original screenplay needs more work, makes jokes funnier, and dialogues more realistic. Page 95, Exercise 9. Perspectives. Quiz show. Part A. Listen to a quiz show. Can you guess the occupations? One. A blank who finds appropriate places to shoot scenes gets to travel all over the world. 2. A blank is someone who chooses an actor for each part in a movie. 3. A blank who makes sure that everything on a movie set looks realistic, creates the objects that the characters use. 4. A blank 
is someone who develops and expands a story idea into a full movie script. 5. A blank is a language specialist who works with actors on their accents. 6. A blank who is used when an original screenplay needs more work, makes jokes funnier, and dialogues more realistic. Rosa, number one. Number one. Um, number one. They drive it. Okay. Be drive it. Good pronunciation. Be divided. Be, drive. Be divided. Be divided. Good. All right. Sandra, number two. Be reading out. Please repeat, Sandra. Be mm -hmm. reading out. Okay, thank you. Number four, Luis. I'm sorry, number three, Luis. Be prepared. Good pronunciation, prepared. Prepared. Good, be prepared. Mm -hmm. Number four. Lillian? Mm, are chosen. Okay. Are chosen. Good. Astrid, number five. Are picked. Okay. Okay. Jasmine, number six. Are signed. Repeat. Jasmine? Are the same. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Good. Mm -hmm. Claudia, number seven. Are the same. Number seven. Number seven. Are expanded. Okay. Thank you. Alejandra, number eight. Okay, no, no Alejandra. Luis, number eight. Okay, no Luis. Lillian, number eight. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh. It's completed. It's completed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lillian, number nine. Is hired. Good pronunciation. Hired. Is hired. Lillian? Is hired. Good, very good. Um, okay. Good. Jasmine, number 10. Is creating. Pronunciation created. Great. Created. 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 Good. Rosan, number 11. Um. Is, is composite. Good, 
pronunciation composed 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 good jenny number 12 is finished okay good pronunciation is finished it's finished good very nice okay do you see super easy the verb to be right to describe process the verb to be and the verbs in the past participle okay it's okay yes all right now we're going to listen and select the correct word here we have many different jobs for example, casting director, location scout, screenwriter, dialect coach, prop designer, and script doctor. You are going to use the correct vocabulary to complete the sentence. So use the vocabulary to complete the sentence. Let's listen and see if we can get a better idea. Page 95, exercise nine. Perspectives. Quiz show. Part A. Listen to a quiz show. Can you guess the occupations? One. A blank who finds appropriate places to shoot scenes gets to travel all over the world. Two, a blank is someone who chooses an actor for each part in a movie. Three, a blank who makes sure that everything on a movie set looks realistic, creates the objects that the characters use. Four, a blank is someone who develops and expands a story idea into a full movie script. Five, a blank is a language specialist who works with actors on their accents. Six, a blank who is used when an original screenplay needs more work, makes jokes funnier and dialogues more realistic. What do you think is number one? Maybe location location scout. scout. Okay, sounds logical. What about number two? Casting director. Casting director. Casting director. Okay. Number three. Pro Pro designer. designer. Prop designer. Number four. A screenwriter. Okay. I put a little bit there. Screenwriter. Number five. Dialect coach. Good. Oops. And the last one? Oh, what was it? A script doctor. A script doctor. Okay. A lot of people to work in the movie, right? And many different jobs. Okay, so in this moment, what are we going to do? We're going to take one profession, location scouts, casting or prop or screen, any of the, the ideas from here, and you're going to describe what do you think is their job? What do they have to do? Okay, that is the idea. Describe the profession, describe the position, describe the activities that they need to do for their job. It's okay? 
we, we need to describe the that screen. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is correct. It's okay? Okay. Yes. yes? All right. Let's try it.
Alejandro, you okay? Ale, you okay? Yeah, but in my internet, it's bad right now. No problem, I understand. Okay, guys. So now we have the idea of how to describe our jobs or someone else's job and what they do. Any questions before we continue? No? Okay. Now we're going to look at a topic that's a little bit more grammar and academic. This is called defining and non-defining. These are defining and non-defining relative clauses. We're going to watch a small video to understand it from 4.7. I know we have studied relative clauses before, but this time we'll learn a little bit more. Stay and find out the difference between defining and non-defining relative clauses. Defining and non-defining relative clauses. Defining relative clauses are used to identify people. A dialect coach is a language specialist. She works with actors on their accents. A dialect coach is a language specialist who works with actors on their accents. A dialect coach is a language specialist that works with actors on their accents. Non-defining relative clauses give further information about people. A location scout finds places to shoot scenes. He travels all over the world. A location scout who finds places to shoot scenes travels all over the world. As we mentioned on the intro video, we have two types of relative clauses. Defining and non-defining relative clauses. Let's look at the difference between them. Number one, defining relative clauses. The information in the clause is necessary. It shows us which person is being described or talked about. For example, the actor who starred in that movie is very talented. Number two. Non-defining relative clauses. The information isn't necessary. It is extra information that is added to the sentence. 
For example, Tom Cruise, who starred in that movie, is very talented. I want to point out that commas are used before and after a non-defining relative clause. Think about the people involved in making a movie. Choose to and describe what they do using defining or non-defining relative clauses. Okay, so what are we looking at here? The idea is if the information is coach is a language special or not necessary. If you look at defining is we use who and that. Normally, who with people, that with things. But you can use that also with people. What is going to be the difference? It's just extra information. So when you describe a profession, for example, a system and engineer, what does a system engineer do? A system engineer is a person that works on computer programs, for example, or uh, a system engineer is a person who works on computers. That is going to be the idea. It's okay how to use a defining and non-defining. In the, in, when you use defining, you use who, right? Mm -hmm. To describe. And non-defining, you use, uh, I don't know what use. The same. But which is the difference? The comma. The comma. Yes, the comma. Let me play the video again. The only difference is a comma. A comma. A location scout who finds places to shoot. Two types of relative clauses. Defining and non-defining relative clauses. Let's look at the difference between them. Number one, defining relative clauses. The information in the clause is necessary. It shows us which person is being described or talked about. For example, the actor who starred in that movie is very talented. Number two, non-defining relative clauses. The information isn't necessary. It is extra information that is added to the sentence. For example, Tom Cruise, who starred in that movie, is very talented. I want to point out that commas are used before and after a non-defining relative clause. As you can see, the commas are the difference. The commas are the most important in non-defining because they are extra information. If I eliminate this, who starred in that movie, is the other information is a sentence. Tom Cruise is very talented. But here, let me show you the other one. If I eliminate who starting that movie, uh, you don't know the information. That's why is the difference. This here is important information and the other is not. Here it's important, why? Because we don't know who is the actor. So we need to know in what movie he starred in. And the other one, we already have the name and it's only extra information. Is that okay? Um, okay. So, a taco is a city. Okay, but it doesn't say anything. So I need more information. A taco is a city that has beautiful festivals on weekends. Here, it is explaining more about a taco. Okay, and with, with that same example, but with non-defining, how uh, can be? That is, that, so um, a city that has many celebrations. Okay, so I need, because there are many cities in El Salvador and you don't know which I am talking about. Because of that, that is going to be the difference. When is identified, then it is non-defining. So let me explain it like this, Lillian. Do you see all the people in the class? 
In some cases. <laughs> in some cases. It's in some cases. You can see the pictures, las imágenes, las fotos, the pictures. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So if I say, oh, uh, the uh, that student is good. But who? <laughs> exactly. You need defining. That mm -hmm. student that is wearing glasses is good. Ah, mm -hmm. this is defining. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. This, so when you have information to identify is defining. When you have information extra, but not necessary to identify is non-defining. Non-defining is going to have the commas. Defining, no commas. Okay. Is better? Thank you. Yes, I guess it's better. Okay. So this is the important. Any other, anyone else? Any other questions? Okay, let's practice. Let's talk about the different people or your jobs and tell me what about them. Let's try to use who or that. For example, Jasmine is a woman. Mm. And uh -huh. Jasmine is a woman who loves to eat pupusas on Sundays. This is extra information. Okay. So describe one person and give me extra information. My son is a person who enjoys to dance a lot. Okay. It hmm. can be similar. Good. My son is a person or is a boy that enjoys dancing a lot. Or who enjoys dancing a lot. That's it. Okay. Exactly. Now we know more information about your son. Okay. Different. What is the name of your son, Lillian? Matias. So, Matias is your son. Sentence. Not necessary, more information. Non defining. Matias mm -hmm. is your son who enjoys dancing a lot. Non defining. Extra information for the sentence. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Don't worry. We're going to stop and tomorrow we practice more defining and non-defining relative clauses. The important is that we start to understand how to use the different processes and to describe the things. Okay? Okay. Okay. Great. Have a nice night and I see you guys tomorrow. Okay. See you. Bye. Bye. Bye.